significance. Call to significance is the subject of our lesson today. January 10th, 2021. We're on lesson six today of our winter quarterly. Call to significance. We're in Luke. Our focus and our lesson scriptures are the same today. We're in Luke chapter 5, verses 1 through 11. Luke chapter 5, verses 1 to 11. It's some, uh, kind of a familiar story uh, to Moses and maybe a new story to um, to some. Okay, and, that, and that's great and that's just fine. So uh, today uh, we start, uh, we're talking about when Jesus, uh, the big, uh, the big catch, the big catch. So Jesus, uh, he, he, he's, at, he's besides the lake. Uh, and and I'm, 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 please forgive me for this pronunciation. Uh, Genseret, I believe it's the pronunciation. Genseret is the lake. Um, you Bible scholars out there, uh, drop a comment and um, give me a better pronunciation. I apologize. Um, he's at the lake and uh, he's at a crowd and he, he's been teaching and he's been uh, pre he's been teaching. Okay, and um, the crowd has begun to uh, get kind of large. So and instead of Jesus just being all bombarded in the crowd, uh, Peter uh, Simon at the time, came you, Simon uh, was bringing his boat in. Uh, he was there, he had his boat, he was getting ready to, you know, doing his cleaning and everything, and on that boat with Simon was James and John, and they uh, they were bringing their boat in, their boat was in, and Jesus, um, he got onto their boat so that he could uh, teach from a distance, so he could speak from a distance, okay, and not necessarily a big distance, but just enough to where he could have his area to him, you know, have his area without people being all around, and he could be clearly visible, so after he had, uh, Gotten done with that uh, with that teaching and that preaching for the day, um, he told Simon, "Go out into the deep waters. Go out into the deep waters and cast your net down." So so um, Simon did just that. He did just that. He went out into the deep waters. He took his boat out. But there was something that was uh, there was something that was wrong with that picture. As a fisherman, they usually, with their nets, they usually cast them down in the nighttime um, because they're, they're not clearly visible to the fish. And during the day is the time that the hard work was done. They had daily, they had to clean their nets, they had to dry their nets out, they had to uh, get the weights back together, basically get themselves ready for their work. Their work was, was at nighttime when they can go out. And, and Peter and them, Peter, they had just, they had come in and they, had, they hadn't got a good catch. Okay, so they, they hadn't got a good catch. They came in and they went back out at the wrong time of the day. They, it was not prime time. They hadn't finished cleaning their stuff, but Peter went on anyway. He went on because Jesus said go. He went on. So when he went, Jesus told them to cast their nets over. And when they brought their nets up, they had the catch of a lifetime. The, the catch was so grand that they couldn't even pull it up by themselves. They had to get another boat to help them pull their catch up. So, so that's that, that's our story. And when when when, Pete, when Simon, I'm sorry, when Simon saw this, when he saw this, he knew that this was God. He 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 knew that this was the one. And he fell and said, "Just leave me because I'm a sinner. I don't deserve to be in your presence." But that, that's not what it was about. He said, leave me. He said, do, and, and Jesus replied that he, Peter was a, Simon was a fisherman. He was a fisherman. Jesus was going to make him, make him fisher of men, fisher of people. He was going to be bringing people in now instead of just fish. So they went out at the wrong time. But they caught the catch of a lifetime. Now let's fast forward. Let, let, let's bring this into us. There are extraordinary, extraordinary things. There is, there's work. There is, there is work to be done. There, there is a plan. There's a mission for every single one of you. Every single one of us. God has something for us. Even when it doesn't seem like the prime time to do it, God will work a miracle in us. Now see, Peter, James, and John, their trade was fishermen. 
was a fisherman. They went out and they caught fish. They caught all types of fish. They caught the clean fish and the unclean fish. Now even at that time, why would you say they would catch the unclean fish? Well, they took the unclean fish and they gave it to the Gentile, the people that they didn't, the people that were the un, that were called to be the unclean people. So they gave them the unclean fish. But that's a that's a story for a whole that's a whole another story there. But they caught all of the fish. That was their trade. Okay, that's what they did. But Jesus called them to be fishermen. So call call to significance all of our callings are significant all of our callings are significant and, and just in the nick of time just in the nick of time jesus can call us to do something great he after after that incident peter james and john they left their job as fishermen to become fisher of men, fisher of people. They left that to follow Jesus. They left their jobs. They left their trade. They left their way to provide for their families to follow Jesus. Now, I'm not saying that your calling in the ministry, your calling to do God's will is going to require you to, to, to abandon, to lose, to quit your job. But it may, it may cause you to quit something that you like doing. You may you, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to sacrifice and let something go. Even when you think you're not ready, even when you think you're not ready, you can do it. The calling, the calling that's for us, the thing that the thing that is for you, the thing that is for me. No, no matter what has happened in your life. No matter what's going on, no matter where you at, where you're at, God will meet you there. He'll meet you there, and He'll make a change in your life. Okay, understand this: only God knows. Only God knows your true calling. God delivers that to you. All of us are created for something. The, the worldly experiences, even you know, even the worldly experiences that we've been through, can prepare us for kingdom building. Even even the things you do on your everyday job can, can be used in God's kingdom building. Too too often we we think that what we do as a profession, it doesn't tra it can't translate, or it, so often it doesn't translate to our kingdom building ministry. And that's okay, but there are times when just what you're doing in your profession translate directly to your ministry. I only I only know of one person that has heeded God's calling to quit their job and do God's work. I only know of one person, and that person doesn't regret it a day in their life. I know that person, they heard God, they did what God told them to do, they left a job, and they, they followed God. They, they followed God, they did God's work, this person is still doing God's work, this person does an extraordinary job doing it. I'm not saying that's you, I'm not saying you're going to have to lose your job, but I'm not saying that you need to do what Peter, I mean, I'm sorry, what Simon, James, and John did. But God has something special for all, all of us have a call, all of us are called to do something great. But that call, that call doesn't happen. You don't walk, you don't walk in all the fullness of that call if you don't trust God. If you don't have faith in God, you can have, God can have, the, ooh, he, he can have the best thing in the world for you. But if you don't trust him, if you don't have faith in him, you won't be able to walk in it. You won't be able to walk in it if you don't believe in Him. If you don't trust Him with your whole heart, you can't walk in it. You have to have it. Simon, James, and John, they trusted Him. What He had done for them, He believed. They believed. And they walked with Him. We got to have faith. We got to trust Him. He, he, he has something great for all of us. Some of you are probably walking in it now. Continue to do that. Continue to trust him. Because not always the walk and the journey that he has for us is going to be so easy. But if you're walking in it and if you're trusting and if you have faith in him, 
realize, realize this. When Jesus rose from the dead, he rose with all power. He rose with all power in his hand. If you trust and believe in the one that has all power, no matter what happens, no matter what, what it seems like, no matter what, no matter what your sight is seeing, you have faith to believe, to believe in the things that you can't see. You have faith. You trust him to do that for you. There's a calling on everybody's life. Some of you are walking in it, some of you are not. Some of you are still, some of you are waiting, some of you are not even looking. But there's a call for everybody. There's a call for all of God's children to do something great. All of us have something great in us. All of us. We're special in God's sight. We're his children. He has something for us. Jesus made them fisher of men. We can be fisher of men too. We can bring people in to God. We can go out and bring people in. We can do that too. We have gifts. We're able to do that. Walk in the power. Trust and believe in God. Let him direct your path. Don't lean on your own understanding because it'll confuse you. Just trust in God and he'll direct your path. Amen and have a blessed day.